cost accounting can effectively be utilized in various facets of supply chain management. In this video, we will discuss the scope of cost accounting in supply chain management. Cost apportionment. The costing technique entails two independent steps. First, classification of cost according to various factors and allocation and apportionment of expenses that cannot be directly attributed to production. As a process, costing involves the formal and systematic determination of cost regularly. Cost control. Cost control is the direction and regulation of operating and undertaking expenses through executive action. This direction and regulation is carried out by the executive responsible for the deviance. Various strategies such as inventory management, product control, quality control, budgetary control, standard costing, etc. are used to exercise cost control. These procedures will become evident by listing the processes involved in any method of cost control. Cost ascertainment. Costing has evolved many approaches such as historical or actual cost, estimated cost and standard cost to accomplish the first stage. It involves collecting and analyzing expenditures, measuring production at various stages and the connection between the production and expenses. Costing has created several approaches such as single or output costing, task costing, contract costing, etc. To accomplish the second stage, significant costing approaches have been created to achieve the last phase including marginal costing, standard costing, budgetary control, total absorption costing and uniform costing. Next, cost audit. Cost audit significantly influences a business or organization more than it is commonly believed. The objective of cost audit is to identify flaws inherent in the cost accounting system. ICMA London defines cost audit as the verification of the correctness of cost accounts and the adherence to the cost accounting plan. Budgetary control. Budgetary control compares the enterprise budgeted statistics with its actual performance to calculate deviations. Following the preparation of budgets, actual results are recorded. The budgeted values are compared with the actual performance to calculate variances. Comparing budget and actual statistics helps the management identify variances and take corrective action appropriately. Budgetary control is an ongoing process that facilitates planning and coordination. It also gives a means of control. A budget is a method whereas budgetary control is the outcome. Apart from these, there are various other areas where cost accounting contributes. Cost accounting aims to identify different costs involved in the process and find out the cost that can be checked. These exercises ultimate objective are to reduce the involved cost and maximize the profit. So, this was all about the scope of cost accounting in supply chain management.